Hey, man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest ISO God of all times. Listen up, man. I'm bringing y'all extremely toxic build, a post-scoring stretch, man. Look, I know it has not been done in this 2K cycle yet, but it will be. People will become hip. Maybe someone will start a trend, you know, some YouTuber or shit, but, but this is very toxic. If you guys don't know, stretch bigs are back. They can stop centers. They can dex. They have defense. <laughs> um <laughs> they could dex they could burst around and they can run pg so the build i'm gonna be showing y'all is going to be able to guard center guard on ball post score dex do all that stretch big stuff that you little dickheads little weird bum ass niggas that ruined the game love through 17 through 19 you know it's bad Hopefully it doesn't, like, there isn't no super burst animations like all the other 2Ks. But anywho, bro, so, what? Before we get into it, oh, niggas is subscribing. Oh, niggas is unsubscribing. Hey, look, look, what, what the fuck is going on? Look, 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 look. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know. 300K on the way, help a young nigga grow. Let's try and get 3,000 likes on this video. It's free to show support. Like up the vid, turn on notice. I already showed the best overall stretch four builds, but this is going to be like the post scoring stretch builds. Okay. So yeah, if you want to watch that, go look at my other build vids, but look, so for the position, we are going to choose power forward, power forward. I know y'all PG is shooting guard. Blah, 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 blah. Look for this particular build, bro. Um, you gonna want to have defense. So just everything combined, bro. Just overall, this is like the best for like defense and stuff. So it's like just the overall best bang for your buck. You feel me? But um, yeah, don't matter. Um, we, we're gonna go 99. No, we're gonna we're gonna go zero. It, it it none of this shit matters. Look. So again, I'm gonna make other stretches and other pie charts. But for right now, right here. Now look very important man since it's a post scoring stretch you know strength actually matters in this type of situation but if you play it right you could always switch onto the guard and just bully his little bitch ass and you already gonna have like 14 playmaking and post scoring and all, all that other stuff so it's like you can choose speed but if you kind of want to get into the center and stuff you you can switch it up right you could choose this and uh you know maybe this well not this one but you know you could you could choose these but 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 i don't know man if you're good you know how to exploit there's deck scene there's things you could do with your speed off ball you could play just like a shot creator bro so it's like you want as much speed as possible but if you want your strength you know you could play with the weight all this other stuff all up to you bro whatever you believe but me personally if I was to make this build, this is what I would do right here. Now, here's the first version of the build, right? I'm not going to break it into two completely build vids like I always do. I'm going to just show you like this because it's an easy breakdown, right? You could have it like this, right? This is what I would personally do. Or you could do this. Bam. Now, you really a post scoring stretch, but you might need more playmaking. So it's up to you, bro. You know, build it best for you. Now, I know I always say no inside, all this other stuff, like in one finishing badge is dumb. But for this build, bro, you 30 shooting and you, you bursting around doing all this. You got one purpose, my boy. You should not even be driving. You should act like you're going to drive and walk back, niggas, you know, shit like that. You're never really going to have the best defender guarding you. Right. And then like th this is a good build for like, you know, like even pro am, you know, you know, you get your post scoring. Sometimes they're going to put the guard on you since you're a stretch, right? You know, you could baby that nigga in the paint, you know? You could post technician up, post fade, bam, you know? Bang that nigga shit. You know, it, it's going to make it difficult for niggas. And then, you know, you, you got defensive badges. This is this a nice little build, my nigga. Now, also, look, since I'm, I, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a believer in 30 shooting. You really want to be a stretch. You really want to be a stretch. But... You know, if you don't really want 30 shooting, which I do recommend, um, if you're like better at the game and stuff, then you could make this more all around, knock down the shooting, upgrade the post hook and the driving layup, you know? I don't know, overall I would do this, and look, you're gonna wanna go burly, intimidate players, make people think you're taller than the height you're going to be. 
you look more, you know, people not going to e- think you're that as fast as you actually are going to be. And look, so you can't make them six, seven, right? For post scoring take, you have to go six, eight plus. I would personally, bro, honestly, bro. Now, look, listen, also, you can't get the, you can't get the, people call them the best jump shots, but I don't know which ones they actually take away. But if you go 6'9", everyone's saying that you don't get um a lot of the, the best jump shots. So 6'8 could be the one if you if you care about that, right? But honestly, bro, if you're more worried and you don't want to get bullied and shit like that, you really want to be a post-scoring stretch, you know, you could be 6'9", 6'10", even 6'11", bro. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, you could really do it up. Look at your post moves going up. But me personally, I would probably go with 6'8". You know, I'm a little cheeser and stuff. And um, you can still stop centers with this. But if you really worried about it and you're not too good with your timing and shit like that, you know, you could go 6'9", 6'10", 6'11", shit like that, bro. And, you know, have all the benefits of this godlike shooting, post-scoring ability, and, like, no one can stop you. And you got 30 shooting. Plus, you can stop anyone in the paint, you know? Now, for the weight, again, if you care about all that strength shit, all that other extra shit, you can max it, do whatever you want with it. But me personally, this is what I would do. I would make them 190, right? Wingspan, we maxing that hoe, okay? As long as you get, you know, we're maxing the wingspan. You can be up, you're gonna be able to shoot godlike, stop people on defense, passing lanes, shoot like a god, 30 shoot. But look, if you really wanna do like the PG shit, you could do some cheesy shit like this, right? You feel me? Up to you, man. But I would do this. Even even if you're just doing straight PG type shit, I would still do this because you get to play better D. And bam, you even get playmaking tape. <laughs> I don't think you get ankle breaker badges, but uh, yeah, bro. Um, yeah, for this particular build, post scoring, post guard. Now I'm gonna show y'all the best badges for this build. Ooh, stretch four. Ooh, Kevin Love, <laughs> Gallinari. They they need better names, bro. Like y'all y'all let me know y'all y'all think they need better names. Make sure y'all subscribe if you new, man. Let's. Let me show y'all the best badges. You can either do cross key score, contact finish, or contact finisher, consistent, something like. That. Hey man, you can rock your badges like this for this type of build, or you could do like this, or you don't want difficult shots. You know, you want your dead eye. You could do like this. All up to you, my boy. You know. But yeah, I think this would be the best combo. Or like this, if you're gonna be dexing a lot. All up to you, bro. Hey, you can run these badges. I don't know how good Dream Shake is, but this looks like a solid lineup for this type of build, bro. I think this is like really good for this type of build. Kind of, but this shit cheesy, bro. I, I like, I feel bad showing this, but niggas is niggas is gonna find out. You feel me? <laughs> um, if you're running the one spot, you know, for two v twos, this seemed like a good lineup. Uh, you could take Rim Protector down because you do got like. You know, you got some good defensive badges. Put it on clamps. Something like this, bro. You know, it seems solid to me, bro. Now, if you're playing 3v3, you'll probably want to do something like this. 3v3, three spot. You know, something like this, man. I think this would be good. Intimidator, rim protector, both on gold. That's how you'll get them stops in the paint. You're going to get some goddamn stops. And yeah, you just have to adjust it to like what you're specifically playing. I think this is a very well-rounded build that you could always fit on teams on. And yeah. Anywho, that's the goddamn video, man. If y'all want to see me play live, go follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hawk. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on post notice. Follow me on Twitter. Everything in the description. And I'm out this whole bro.